Hi guys, this is Jess here. I uh, hope uh, you're doing well. Uh, today I was doing something really interesting and I would like to show you uh, exactly what I, I, I did. Um, today I am actually going to show you how to use Jaws. I hope uh, uh, it's pronounced that way. Uh, this is uh, um, open source software. Um, um, it actually helps visualize um, the version control uh, whatever that be like uh, jade, jade uh, mercurial or you know bizarre or even SVN um, but today I'm actually going to use uh, um, JORS with SVN on uh, my Windows uh, 7 machine now there are a few things um, in here it's, uh, uh, most of the things are actually explained on their website um, well, as you can just type uh, Jaws in uh, uh, in your address bar of Google Chrome, and it'll like it will be first one in the search results, and you go there and download this, uh, download it. So um, anyway, uh, this is um, this is just their website here. Um, so I'm actually going to start um, afresh. So I'll actually just go to downloads. And um, I will be down doing um, my demo or you know a tutorial, whatever you want to call it, on Windows. So I'm actually going to download Jaws uh, 0.381 Windows 32.zip file. Um, <coughs> it's 4.6 uh, megabytes. Uh, I hope uh, it will be um, downloaded in like 10 seconds. Um, okay, that's done. So what I'm actually going to do now is um, um, I will sort of move that file from my downloads directory to my say um, C drive. I'll actually create another say, folder called J Soaps. Yep, and paste it here. Now I'm actually just gonna um, uh, un in, uh, unzip it. Um, let's go extract here. And uh, as you can see, that there are heaps of files, so I'll actually get rid of that file. So the tricky part is that this is the main file, George.exe, that actually does all the uh, tricks. So uh, let's uh, put that directory in my environment path. So I'll actually just go properties and um, I'll go advanced system settings and um, I will just go environment variables and just go search for path here and click edit and uh, see, we, we have created C on the C drive. I've created for a folder called Juice. So that's what's required. So I'll just OK it quickly and then uh, get rid of it. Um, now, another thing that I want to do uh, here is uh, because I'm actually using uh, Tortus SPM, um, which may not be recognized by Joe, so I will actually download uh, Slick SVN. So I just type you know, Slick SVN and um, press enter, and uh, you just go download the version client. And um, and then because my machine is 64 bit, so I'm actually gonna download Slick SVN 1.7.5. And um, depending on the speed of the throughput of the website, this should be done in uh, 9 to 10 seconds. Um, hopefully. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, I don't really have a, a good joke to tell. But so uh, okay, download actually has finished. So I will install my slick subversion. Um, the install will start soon. Okay. Well, my system is not um, 
a fast enough, I guess, for uh, for the. So just run down. Uh, just click run. And uh, let's click. I just need uh, the subversion uh, client. Um, I don't need uh, uh, anything else. So just to keep things simple, I will put slick SVN under say C slick SVN. Doesn't matter where you put it. Um, and then you just choose custom, and then you select. Uh, whatever feature you don't want because I just want svn.exe so that's a version client in there so and then click install and uh, uh, it should be done within uh, 25 to 30 seconds okay so that's done now you will notice that uh, when you go back to the same screen and uh, click on advanced settings and uh, click environment uh, variables and go path uh, uh, sorry uh, click path and click edit and then the path has already been added by slick stream that's good so i don't really have to do much in there so i'll just click ok ok and then uh, now the fun time um, I was actually working on, uh, on a couple of uh, WordPress plugins um, uh, um, in past few months. So I will browse to um, one of on those folders. As you can see that uh, this is uh, uh, the coupon plugin that I was developing. And it's, it's available from a website as well for you to you know, either download the light version or purchase a pro version. So this is the part that of um, of, of uh, my working directory. So I will um, open up my command prompt and uh, just go um, um, change directory to my JC coupons because now. Uh, George says uh, in my um, environment path, so that should uh, run as it is. Okay. So these are the options that I can actually um, you know, use when using um, uh, Joe's from command line. Now it actually comes with uh, full screen, start position, um, stop at time, auto skip seconds, uh, seconds per day, and uh, probably okay. Seconds per day is a really good one. So if you wanna have, if you are visualizing your SVN commit, uh, you know logs, um, and uh, you're doing it for many uh, past months. Uh, it doesn't make sense uh, to, you know, um, um, uh, you have to limit a seconds per day data so that your video doesn't, um, you know, um, uh, become longer um, so that user will be bored of uh, what they actually see. So I generally do um, seconds per day to one. Um, so uh, let's do that. Uh, while we're here, um, okay, um, Josh, um, and seconds to say one, and um, maybe max file um, is another option that we can use. Okay, max dash files, um, say maybe ten. Uh, I mean, uh, th this could be a very high number, but uh, e it's up to you, like, what wh wh you want to choose here. Um, and um, let's try with this, uh, um, just with this, uh, these two uh, switches. Now, one thing to make note of is, is you should actually 
install um, a run JOS from within the working directory, uh, checked out directory. Um, otherwise, it may not work. It will not work. So let's do that. So it will do its stuff, reads, log, uh, this, okay, that's it. So as you can see that um, I haven't actually made many, many changes uh, after I've done, you know, um, after I put my stuff under the repo, um, occasional stuff, and uh, that's pretty much it. Now, the stuff that's going on here, uh, it, 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 it's not recorded automatically. And of course, you can do um, much better with, the, um, you know, as I'm actually popping around here and there, I can change uh, that little thing to um, a photo of mine. So let's do that first. Um, I'll create another um, um, directory um, just under my uh, Geos folder called uh, maybe images and then I'll put um, um, an image of mine um, in there. Now this is tricky um, because this is tricky because uh, um, the image name should be exactly same um, to the it should match uh, the username of, of your uh, subversion username. So my username for my subversion is jazz. I'll actually go jazz.png. The extension can be PNG, JPEG, uh, GIF. As long as it's an image format, it should pick it up. Um, now I'll uh, change that to, as you can see from um, here, um, user image directory. So I put the user image directory um, dir sorry to say c geos and images okay and uh, click enter as you can see now the jazz actually is popping here and there <laughs> with a lot of fun and with this kind of sunglasses now um, this is just me doing uh, my stuff, but if say for example there are hundred user committing to you know a, a subversion repository, it, it, that animation will look cool because there will be there will be like heaps of files that are getting committed and uh, updated every day, and uh, it will be really cool uh, to um, see many users working on a you know, subversion so um, repo and uh, the visualization look really, really cool. Um, I'll tell you that. I've done this uh, in, in my uh, during the day. Uh, this is my personal project, but I've done that uh, during uh, in my company where I work. It looks really cool. But anyway, uh, that's that's um, you can actually increase and decrease the um, uh, image size here, like um, you know, user image size. Um, it's not rocket science, but um, uh, other thing that I want to tell you is that um, now um, it looks cool when when um, it's it's doing um, uh, you know displaying stuff, but um, it's not really saving it as um, um, a movie file anyway. Um, so. So I will be using. You can either use uh, you know Camtasia as a screen capture to uh, capture um, uh, the screen um, like a window here, um, and uh, you can uh, uh, use another um, util um, a tool a software called Fraps. Fraps is um, uh, Fraps is a really cool um, software. Um, looks like that. Uh, when using Fraps, uh, just um, under the movies section, movies tab, you can choose uh, where you want to save movies to. And when you're ready to uh, do a screen capture, uh, video capture, you just press F9. That's a default um, uh, hotkey. That you can use to start and stop um, um, 
um, recording of uh, our window. Uh, so let's start uh, doing just that. So we'll um, we'll just uh, cross that and um, press enter again and um, create it just just for that. Okay. So once this is done, you just close it and uh, it uh, the um, file will be stored under um, the folder that I've created just right here. I'll bring that here. So this is the it by default it will actually create an ABA file. So you double click on it. Um, that's your recording there. So that's an ABI file that you've just created. Um, now this this works cool, but uh, it's not so cool because it doesn't have sound um, sound uh, uh, with it. So now you can either use uh, Windows Movie Maker to just add a bit of you know sound to it. Um, so let's do that. Um, I, I have um, you know a, a license for Adobe Premiere as well, so I can use that as well. Um, but I will be using uh, Windows Movie Maker because it's just um, simple to use. So yeah, just open uh, up uh, your Movie Maker, so Live Movie Maker, and uh, add videos and photos. And that's our file, the ABI file that we have created. So let's select that. And then we just go add music. Add music will be uh, from um, this folder here. I'll pick up 2009 MP3. And um, now, when I play that, that's it. Well, you can you can hear the thunder. <laughs> um, now it looks cool. And this is just a, this is just a good idea you know, basic I how you utilize Joe's um, and how you add sounds and that sort of stuff. I mean, um, you can actually do a voice um, uh, your voice up and you can explain while the things are running. Um, you can do a whole lot of stuff. It depends what um, uh, video software you're using. So with the um, Windows Movie Maker, what you do next is uh, you just go click that uh, top um, left drop down, and you just go publish movie, and then either you can actually just go to YouTube, you know, SkyDrive, um, um, uh, or maybe just uh, go save movie, you know, burn to DVD. It it, it, it depends like what you want to do and next. So I hope uh, that this uh, video made some sort of sense. But if you're doing it on Linux, uh, you, you, you can actually just uh, get help from... Um, um, you, can, you can actually do all this in one command. Of course, not adding sounds. Um, um, and um, 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 the command, you can get it from um, the Joe's website. So you run JOS and then feed uh, the stream to say ffmpeg um, encoder, and it will actually create a uh, mpeg file for you. All right, um, so I'll actually uh, leave it here and uh, leave it to you guys um, to try uh, have more fun. And the, uh, uh, the the thing is that you have to remember that uh, these are the options that are available to you. And um, you can actually just uh, you know try a few and then see um, what suits uh, the video. Well, it looks cool um, uh, when you're doing uh, um, you know um, conferences and uh, uh, that sort of stuff. Even um, in company meetings, you you're trying to impress someone. <laughs> it's really good. Um, all right, I'll have to say goodbye. I'll see you some with some other random. Um, video um, some other day. Cheers from uh, Melbourne. Um, see ya. And please uh, support uh, just be to hell.org. 
um, because that is only a load that keeps him going. Cheers, bye.